If you are delaying your projects because of APIs or integrations, then you are screwed. Sorry to put it so bluntly, but uh, let me lay it out. So I've, I, I frequently, as the CEO of Balfour's, I frequently have, have discussions with our customers and C-level people, uh, senior management, uh, VP level folks, you know, heads of departments, uh, especially in the CX engagement and customer service space, they often ask me about this frustration where they can't start the project because the, their IT or some part of their business cannot support the API that's going to be used, um, or there's some reason to do with the integration capability of the company or some other dependencies. Um, and it's a real frustration that comes up a lot in projects. And so and my advice is always the same, is that uh, the only answer that you that's acceptable when you need to do a project in customer service, customer experience, the contact center, the only answer that's acceptable for when you need to do an integration is uh, that's going to take two days, that's okay, that's great, or it's going to take one sprint or two sprints, meaning two weeks or four weeks, let's say. And in the meantime, while we're getting that ready for you, we'll mock up the endpoints that you need to use or anything that you need to use for the integration so that you can all continue your work without waiting for those two sprints. That is the only acceptable answer in 2024. And now the, the reasons are simple. So there's two reasons. One is that the API, um, the API economy is now 15 years or so old, right? So it is the established approach to doing any kinds of integrations. That's just a fact. And secondly, um, you don't have to build that. I mean, most of the event-driven architecture or the approach to integration that you're going to use, you don't have to build it yourself. Your teams don't have to build it. If they are building it themselves, all of it, then you know, you're doing something wrong. Uh, the reason is that almost all modern tools, I mean, if you're buying buying tools like Zendesk or Babelforce, um, then those systems come with support for extending or providing the event-driven architecture that you need, right? Everything from handling streams of events, from push-pull of data, um, everything that you can possibly imagine that you need for CX, customer engagement, customer experience, is built into those products. So you know, there, there is no reason for you to do everything yourself. And, um, and because of the first reason, the bits that you do need to do yourself that are important within your product, if you cannot organize yourself with the right tooling to meet the timelines that I mentioned earlier and support the projects you need to do in your business, um, then you know, I, think, I think you really should not accept that as a manager. I think that's just not on um, in 2024. So have fun integrating. I would love to talk to you if you're in management um, and if you're in uh, head of IT or you know, CIO um, or uh, responsible for customer experience, customer service, and talk through the target architecture that enables that. Um, because I think that's where we're at right now, right? The target architecture exists for a long time that achieves those kinds of timescales and never delays your projects that you need to do. Um, so let's talk about it.